Hey guys, Yvonne here at YvonneMana.com and in this video I want to show you how to add a dynamic character counter to your unbalanced landing page. So it will look something like this. Over here it says 150 characters remaining and this is tied, you can tie it to any of the fields here, I tied it to the email. So as I start typing in my email, as you can see the character count goes down. So if you're collecting responses like hockey or baseball, like we have in this example, and it's saying, why do you prefer hockey? Once you type this in, it's going to show the characters. Now, obviously, in our case, we have this kind of crazy uh, code stuff here, so it doesn't look too good. But I'm going to show you how to do it, and then you can decide where you want to actually place this. You can put this on the right, you can put this on the left, wherever you want to. And obviously, your page doesn't have to be as complicated as hours here in this case okay but check out my playlist to see how to do this if that's what you're interested in so we're going to be using this here as an example to do that and we're going to be using this page uh, this unbounce community page to get the code so let's head back over to our page and let's suppose we want to add this uh, counter right underneath the company name so let's make some space we're going to go ahead and drag these two things down so i'm going to actually select this one drag it down a little bit select the button drag it down and the first thing we're gonna do is add a little HTML element here so I'm gonna grab this drop it here and now we have to add a code so let's head back over to their website and let's add this part right over here I'm gonna select it copy it go back here paste it and we're pretty much done here okay so now this is you can't see it but this is what it's going to look like so we're gonna drop it right here, and that means it's gonna show up here, but you can show it anywhere you want to. Okay, so we're gonna drag it, maybe try to make it a bit more even. There you go. So that looks like this. So our text is gonna be there, the character countdown, but now we have to actually add the little JavaScript code that's gonna allow it to actually count down, uh, count down the characters. So we're gonna head back over here. Let's go into this spot here, copy it, Let's move back here, sorry, over here. Let's go into JavaScript, we'll add new JavaScript and we're gonna paste it here. And we're, we're gonna name this character countdown. Now, one more thing we have to do, we need to change this part here and, or sorry, this part here and this part here to indicate what field we want this to correspond to. So we don't want it to be the email field in this case, right? We want it to be this company name field. So we're gonna double click this field, we're gonna select company name, and this is the ID we wanna copy. So we're gonna copy that, let's cancel. Let's go back into our character countdown JavaScript, and instead of email, we're gonna paste the company name. Instead of email, we're gonna paste company name, and that is pretty much it. Um, one more thing you can do is you can set how, what the character limit you want to be, like here it's 99, we can set it 150, as was in our example, or we can set it to 200, okay? So depending on whatever you want it to be, we'll click Done, we'll click Save, and let's preview, see what it looks like. So give it a second to load, and now it should be right here, and if I type something in the email, oh wait, we didn't do email, right? We did company name. So as we type in company name, it counts down the characters, okay? So pretty cool, use it however you want to, knowing how to do it, so just go in and drag that element wherever you want to this one um, if you're wondering no nothing's gonna happen if they go above the character limit it'll just say negative characters remaining um, but that's fine it it will deter some people for sure some people will look at it and say oh I only have three characters left let me delete it right not everyone's gonna uh, put in the whole 500 and click submit and see what that's gonna go so that's how you do it you know play around with this move this wherever you want to like if you want to move it here uh, that's probably going to look super awkward, but this will work as well. So wherever you want to drop it, let's just quickly take a look and right, it's now here. But that's basically it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, check out my Unbounce playlist where I have right now, as of this moment, 26 plus videos going over things like this, you know, small little elements like that. I go over a bunch of different things within Unbounce that can really help you make your landing page smooth and higher converting. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.